Well, this mass shooting has left one person dead, and at last check, another individual was still in surgery, listed in critical condition. And tonight, another man believes he too could have been a victim. Everett Chapman says he moved to Park Heights recently, thinking it had less crime than the neighborhood he left behind in Emerson Village. 53401. But after seeing this bloody scene, there's doubt. I thought I was getting away trouble, but it looked like I'm getting in the more, you know, crime area, you know. Gunfire broke out on Park Heights Avenue at Shirley Avenue just before 1230 today. Bullets flew, seven people hit, one died, all of them adults. Chapman feeling he could have been caught in the middle of the gunfire. He had just walked down the block to the store in that area moments before. And I walked out the house and I seen all the police. And, you know, and then I went back home and told my sister what happened. And she said, you, 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 know, you, know, you know, this ain't nothing. Police say several individuals were sitting and standing at the intersection when this Lexus came down Park Heights Avenue. Police releasing images of the suspect vehicle, a silver 2016 four-door Lexus CT200H. Investigators say the car stopped. Two individuals got out and then opened fire on the group. Police calling it another deadly, bold shooting. Once again, right after noon, in broad daylight, the brazenness of these offenders to pull up, get out of a car, and then open fire on a group of people minding their own business is unconscionable. What's as unconscionable as that is people who know who was in that car and don't say anything. A shooting that happened at a corner that Chapman calls troublesome. Uh, a lot of guys be on the corner all day long. You, you, uh, you, know, uh, you know, so they need to stop that. You know, but they got to get them off these corners. It's a corner that's part of the Safe Streets Watch Area, the Park Heights location of the crime intervention group, just a block away from this deadly shooting with the suspects still on the loose. I bet you, but uh, and whoever done that, you know, probably ain't no older than 17, 18 years old. And, you know, that don't make no sense. Well, police are still looking for that Lexus. You can take another look at those photos on our website at foxbaltimore.com. We have those photos on all of our social media platforms, including Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Reporting from City Police Headquarters, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News.